Welcome, Maddie Collins here for Lavinia World. Today we'll be creating this love card. Let's go over the products I used to create this card. Felicity, which is LAV222. Group of Hearts Mini, which is LAV238. I have um, Strathmore Cold Press watercolor paper, which I've already die cut ahead of time with this postage stamp die some heavyweight black cardstock, and I've die cut from the center the love using that die from my stash. And I'll have something equivalent in the description below. I have some um, sparkle blends here. These are from Doodles Paper Playground. And this is called Love Hearts, and I pulled out a few that we'll embellish our card with. We're gonna be using some Versafine Claire in Nocturne, Distress Oxides in Tattered Rose, Worn Lipstick, and Shaded Lilac. I'll have a palette that I'm going to squish everything onto, some water, a watercolor brush. So I'm going to clear everything and we can get started on our project. I start by pressing my ink pads onto my palette here. My palette is nothing fancy. You can make one of your own. It's just laminated white cardstock. I'm going to add some water to not only my panel, but to the inks that I've smushed onto the palette. And I'm just going to use my watercolor brush here to pick up the colors and just lay them on the opposite corners, bottom left and upper right. And I started with the tattered rose and then I move on to the worn lipstick and then a little bit of that shaded lilac. And I even do a little sprinkling with it. Want a little bit more of that um, tattered rose, bring it, that in a little more further in. And then I will heat set this. Actually, I'm going to add a little more of the worn lipstick because I realized it had faded back a little much than I wanted and I wanted a little bit more sprinkles. So then I'll heat set this with my heat tool and I'm heating both sides of my paper to minimize the warping. There will be some warping either way, but at least it won't be a lot of warping. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to add a little bit more of the um, worn lipstick sprinkles on here, a little bit more splatter because now they'll be more vibrant. And the color dries back a bit, so I knew that I would have it and it wouldn't be super bright. And that's not what I'm going for. I'm going for something soft, like watercolors would be. Yeah, I want soft watercolors. All right, so now that our panel's completely dry, I'm gonna manipulate it here a little bit more so it can lay flat, and we're gonna stamp. Now, I've been asked by several people that say, well, you always use a stamping position or a stamping platform. Do you ever use blocks? Yes, I do. I tend to like using a positioner for solid images like this, but I, I wanted to show you, you can use a, a block and, and stamp with this. So I'm just gonna rub the little the stamps before I mount them onto my block. And then I'm gonna add some ink. Now, keep in mind I'm stamping on watercolor paper, which is textured. The one thing I do is I add a lot of ink when I'm doing on textured uh, cardstock or watercolor. I apply a lot of ink, then I stamp um, my image down, and I press it on, down, and then I leave the, the image on there so that the ink has a mo uh, some time to absorb. Now, this is a very textured paper, so it's going to leave, it's not going to go uh, on, as you can see, a nice full dark image. But I'll show you how to fix that if this happens to you. So I'm gonna go ahead and now stamp our little hearts. I'm gonna stamp those three times, making sure I turn the heart a cluster here, the group, in varying ways. Now I'm gonna re-ink our fairy, Felicity. So I'm gonna stamp it again with a clear acrylic block and clear stamps. You can reposition uh, your stamp. It takes a little bit of time. It's not as easy as redoing a platform, but, or stamping tool, but it can be done. Again, textured paper, so my image isn't fully in. How to fix it? Pull in a Memento Tuxedo Black marker and just color in the empty spots. Now, I'm not looking for perfection because this is watercolor technique or I want that watercolor look. So I'm not looking to fill it in completely. I just wanna fill in any of the major gaps. You can do the same thing with um, using a uh, a sponge tool or like or the Fantastics and those are by um, Sukuneko and then you can use those to fill in your area. 
All right, so now I'm going to add some foam to the back of our um, watercolor panel. Some, um, and then I'm going to place this onto our black panel, which will then go onto my card base. I'm going to adhere that, put that in the center. And adding the foam adhesive to the back also helps flatten out my panel. I'm going to now adhere our die cut love. And I also, to save some um, cardstock, so this is not going to be seen, I cut that love from the center of our black cardstock. I'm going to add little drops here to how we can add our embellishments. And these are going to be little clay hearts, a, a sequin heart, and other little glittery, shiny little sequins. They all came out of that same uh, sparkle blend that's called Love Hearts. Then I'm going to just uh, pepper them in throughout with the, through those little hearts that are stamped on there. Finish this up. I have a, two more little hearts here to place. And then I see that there's all this wonderful texture and glittery towards the top. So I want to add a little something to Felicity so she doesn't get lost down here. So I'm just going to grab my Nuvo uh, Glitter Drops in White Blizzard. I'm just going to go over her wings. I'm just following and tracing them out. I'm not filling them in. I'm just going to follow the, line, the stamped lines and a little bit to her ties on her shoes. And there she is. You can see a little sparkle on her wings and then the little sparkles of the embellishments there. Again, we use our dyes. Distress Oxide in Tattered Rose, Worn Lipstick, and Shaded Lilac. Versa Claire in Nocturne. Nouveau Drops, Nouveau Glitter Drops in White Blizzard. We use the Group of Hearts Mini and Felicity to create our card today. Like always, I'll have everything in the, linked in the description box below. Thank you for being here. I hope you found some inspiration. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.